Hi, my name is Johannes Ulrich, and in this video today, we'll talk about IPv6. The one aspect of IPv6 we'll be focusing on is implementing IPv6 without really wanting to. And as an example, we will look at Teredo in Windows 7. So what you're seeing here is a standard Windows 7 Ultimate install. And uh, let's take a look at the IP configuration with ipconfig. So you see we have three different interfaces here. The first one is our standard Ethernet adapter, the local area connection. Nothing too specific about this. It's a NATed setup. So if you have a private non-routable IPv4 address, we also do have a link local IPv6 address. The IPv6 address starts with FE80, which tells us it's link local and cannot be used globally. It can only be used to reach other hosts on the same local network. The interesting part is the last network connection, the tunnel adapter local area connection. You do see that it does have an IPv6 address, but in this case, actually one that starts with 2001. In IPv6, an interface can have multiple IP addresses and whatever IP address is closest to the target is being used. For example, if destination is local, we would use the FE80 address. If it's not a local address, we can now use the 2001 address. Let's see if this address actually works. So let's run ping with the dash six switch to force an IPv6 connection. And now let's just ping isc.sans.org. And let's see what happens. And indeed, it is connecting. We do see the IPv6 address for isc.sans.org that says 2001-470-E0-B4-4. The first ping has a larger latency and actually quite frequently the first ping fails because it takes a little time for the Teredo connection to get established. But uh, let's figure out a little bit more about the Teredo address. A lot of details about the Teredo connection are actually encoded in the address. Let's copy it now. So let me just mark it here. And copy it. And now I'll show you a tool that we wrote at the Internet Storm Center to decode those Teredo addresses. Let me start in an explorer. And let me go to the URL of this tool. If you go to icsands.org slash tools slash ipv6.html, that'll get you to the IPv6 tool here. This is our ISC IPv6 conversion tool. So now I am just pasting in the IP the six address I got from ipconfig earlier. I'm submitting. And what you're seeing now is the IPv6 Teredo address parsed. So this is the address we pasted. 2001 000, that's what indicates it's Teredo. They all start with uh, 2001 000 or essentially that uh, slash 32 address space is set aside for Teredo. The remainder of the address essentially includes information a host needs to connect back to that Teredo host. First of all, we do have the IPv4 address of the Teredo server encoded here. We do have the public IPv4 address of the client encoded. And finally, the UDP port to which these packets have to be sent at this public IPv4 address in order to reach the client behind NAT. Again, the way NAT works for UDP typically is I'm sending an outbound packet. It emerges outside of my firewall on port 61,939. The firewall will keep that port open for a while for responses to come back. So the problem with Teredo is that all IPv6 traffic is encapsulated in UDP. Your host running the IPv6 
Teredo client is now globally reachable and your firewall, your IPS, your data leakage prevention solution probably has no idea what's going on. This was it for uh, Windows 7 and IPv6. If you have any more questions, if you are interested in this topic, see isc.sans.org slash IPv6 for our IPv6 course. We are going to offer it next at SANS 2010 in Orlando in March. Thanks for watching this and uh, can't wait to release the second part about Windows XP and IPv6.